Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can quickly create your Android open source library and publish it on Jetpack. So let's get started. So I recently created an open source library called Neopop Compose that has some uh, cool 3D looking elements that you can use in your Compose project. So make sure to check that out also. And creating an Android library is much easier than you think. Just open your Android Studio and create a new project. Here you can choose an empty activity or no activity. If you want an app module for your library, then you can also choose empty activity and just write some sample code. I will go for here no activity and finish. So here this is our application module and you cannot use it as a library because here it is having this plugin and uh, it will tell that uh, this module is an application and not a library and if you want to convert this module itself as a library so instead you need another plugin that will tell us android library com.android.library so you can paste it here and i will use here library okay okay let's do one thing let's not uh, change this app module let us create another module so here I want to create the library on the top level of my project. So first I'll select this uh, project view, then right click, new module. And here I can select Android or you can also select Java or Kotlin if you are working for KMP or CMP project. But uh, today I'll show you a Jetpack Compose example that is for Android. And that's why I'm creating an Android library and uh, it will be my library. I will name it something Compose Tutorial that's fine and here you can select your package name and finish and and now it is done and once you go back to the android view there you can see now app module is here and another compose tutorial module is here and if you see there is another build.gradle file that is for our module compose tutorial and it will have the plugin of library as i was telling you library. So let me quickly write some compose code here. Okay, so as you can see here, I created a compose function named compose tutorial library card. And here is just a simple box that has some shape and size and color. And in the dependency, as you can see, I have removed all unnecessary dependencies and only added whatever is used in my project. So make sure your library doesn't have any unnecessary dependencies. So now our library is done and now let's start the publishing part. So for that, first of all, let us add a plugin here that is Maven Publish. And uh, we have to also add some configuration for this uh, publishing. So for that, you can add this block here. So let me sync this first and uh, it should have uh, all these errors gone. So you can add your configuration here. I will leave it to the default values and uh, let me sync this. And one last thing, let me show you build, build tools, Gradle and here you can see I am using here, it should be Gradle 17. Okay, so go to your project view and here we have to add a YML file for our Jetpack that will run before every release. And uh, that will tell our Jetpack that we are using JDK 17 and uh, Jetpack support only JDK 8. So we have to make sure everything is uh, on the same version if you are using any other jdk version so you can just mention that here and everything is done now let us push this project to our github and uh, then we can push it to jetpack that is easy what you can do is you can use android studio and directly share it on github and i will make it public i will name it compose tutorial okay here what we can do is we can ignore this app module and this is from app module this is from app module and all these things okay this is our compose tutorial and this is android test that we also don't want this is main that we want that is the main file and unit test is also not required so we are only publishing this file that contains our build.gradle build files and this is our main and uh, that is our uh, main application project let me add okay so this is our project and uh, everything looks good here you can see we have the release option so create a new release before we can move to jetpack platform so here we can create a tag that is the version of your library 1.0.0 for example 
and uh, target is master branch we don't have any release notes let us name this 1.0.0 this name will be just rendered in in your github repository and here you can add some description okay testing for youtube tutorial and and we can release okay so let me go to the home page and there you can see version 1.0.0 what you can do is you can go to jitpack.io and and just copy your repository link so there you can see 1.0.0 is here and uh, for example if i have to show you for my neopop library so i'll copy this i'll paste it here and there you can see the latest version is 1.0.1 .1. i just released only two versions for now and you can import your library like this let me use this previous library compose tutorial this is the version and uh, the log is loading right now and if you are having any issues while building then this thing will be red here but uh, it is right now loading so let uh, let me finish that and how you can use your library so here you can see uh, you have to go to your build.gradle in android it is settings.gradle let me show you that so suppose i am using this new library in my neopop compose project let me go to android view let me go to app module and uh, here first of all we have to add this inside of our settings.gradle so let me add this maven because or other things will be already present so inside of settings.gradle file here you can see inside dependency resolution management i will add maven jetpack and uh, this is a kotlin file so we have to use the kotlin syntax here string have double literals and like this so sync now and other is this dependency and this tag here you can see is the latest version of your library so i'll go here i'll paste it here same i have to use the kotlin syntax and i will use the version 1.0.0 here it is telling me to add it to the version catalog file so i'll do it compose tutorial and this is the latest version let me sync and inside this app module i will test this thing here you can see on the jetpack platform here it is showing a green symbol that means everything is all good and now the gradle sync is also done so we can access this compose tutorial library card and let me see inside of uh, this preview how it looks so remember it had some let me check the source code from here so it had a shape a size and a background as red color and you can see this is not editable because it is from another library that is published on jetpack and that is it for today i hope this video was helpful if yes then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for latest videos and thank you for watching